What's up guys and welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys how easy it is to change the hood emblem slash badge on your Mercedes-Benz W204. Now, this may also apply to other Mercedes-Benz models. However, this is specifically for the W204 because it is the car that I drive and the car that we're working on. If you wanna do this on your car and make sure it is the same procedure for your car, then just be sure to check how it is that your badge removes. And if it happens to look exactly the same as this, then it just may be the exact same procedure. Now, before we get into it, I just wanted to point out that in order to make sure that your hood emblem slash badge is the right one for your car, always try and go by your part number and in doing so also make sure that you also measure the diameter of your hood emblem that way you have a double guarantee that it is going to be the correct hood emblem for your car there's nothing worse than going by a seller's point of view and trusting their instincts that it is the correct badge for your car and then after receiving it having to return it if you Go by these two rules of checking your part number and measuring it, you will have a better probability of receiving the right part the first time round, saving you the money and also the hassle of having to return it and wait for another part to come in. Be sure to do that, then you can simply change it out, choose whatever logo you want or whatever badge you want, simply replace it in order to give it a different style and a different look. So let's get it and let's jump into this video. Okay guys, so in order to remove the hood emblem, we need to pop the bonnet and get into it from underneath. So, we'll open it up. Okay, and let it go up. Now, you want to push it a bit above it so you can see what's happening underneath. Okay, now, from here, if you take a good look inside, as you can see, there is a spring right in the center, right there. So if you think about it and try and use common sense, it tells you that there is a way in order to push that spring together. There has to be a way in order to push these two edges together. Now, there is a lever on each side right here and right here where my finger is pointing. I'll put an arrow so you guys can see. In order to remove the hood emblem, all you have to do is push the spring together from each side and push it towards the center. And that will simply free it up in order to release it from being clipped into place. So I'm going to show you how to release it in order to remove it. I'm going to do one side at a time because that's all you need to do. You do not need to push it together at the same time. You can just simply push one side in first. Notice how I'm pushing it in right now. So it's probably easier to press it in from the side all the way at the side at the end points rather than pushing it from this point right here. That's going to be a little bit harder. You want to just push it from the end and then push it in. There we go, and as you can see, it's already loosened. Now, if we go to the top, we can see that the hood emblem is starting to release, as you can see right there. Now we can basically lift it out. As you can see, the other one needs to be pushed out, so we reach underneath again and push it in. As you can see, the hood emblem comes out. Now let me show you exactly what I mean, what I meant. Okay, it's simply clipped in from these two points here where these three bars are. That's exactly what locks it in place. When you press it in, the spring goes towards the center. And on this side as well, you see that little gap? You notice how there's a gap where these three bars are? That's exactly what clips it into place. When you push these two together, it will simply release the badge and it will pop out like you just saw when I pushed in the two tabs. And that's all there is to it guys. That's all, that's all you have to do in order to remove this badge. And then you can simply change it to whatever badge you want. You can change it to the black one or a carbon fiber one or whichever badge suits your needs. It's totally up to you. Just make sure, like I said, you notice there's a part number here, right there. In this case, it is 204, 8170616 and then there is another number here which is A3480 make sure you try and match that badge number and thinking off the top of my head I do believe that this is a 57 millimeter badge make sure you do measure it and make sure you measure the circumference of it and the diameter so you know exactly how big the badge is so you do not buy the wrong badge now in order to put this back on this is a really simple procedure all you have to do from here is you notice these two points on top 
here and here that's all you have to line up in order to push it straight back down because this is a spring clip all you have to do is line it up make sure the badge is the right way around and then simply push it back down let me show you exactly what I mean okay as you can see here there is a cutout on the top and the bottom so all you have to do is line up these two points where my finger is and my thumb and simply line it up make sure it is as straight as possible just like this and then simply push it straight down and as you can see it simply clips into place and that's all there is to it guys that's all you have to do in order to change the badge of your mercedes-benz bonnet so if you want to change the badge out to your mercedes-benz bonnet then do so the procedure is actually pretty easy if you see a different badge that you admire or a different badge that you like be sure to measure it try and match the part number and then simply do this and you'll have a new badge for your mercedes-benz car giving it a different look and a look to suit your needs and your style well there you have it guys how to change the hood emblem slash badge on your mercedes-benz and in doing so change the look of your car in order to suit your style or your needs if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i release another video and don't forget also that at 500 subscribers which is very soon i'll be doing a mystery giveaway of either cash or a mystery prize so make sure you subscribe and stay subscribed to enter it is that easy guys nothing more to it than that in order to show my gratitude for you guys joining me on this journey so as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.